Welcome to Byron, Minnesota, home of the Bears and about 2,500 students across our school district. There's a, a close-knit, family-like atmosphere in Byron that I've always appreciated. This is my 18th year here as the district social worker. Typically, Byron has been a pretty affluent community where a lot of people are able to meet their needs income-wise. And some of that has changed where we maybe have families that struggle a little bit more. There is a significant portion of Byron that does not have what they need. And a lot of the time it is very shameful to kind of admit that and go seek for help. It's, you have to kind of humble yourself and that's really hard. They have needs like affording school supplies, getting to school, having enough food to eat, um, and then the social emotional things like fitting in and feeling good about being here. So we went to work on a solution. Eighth grade students from our three design studio classes focused on utilizing design thinking and STEM to create a resource for our fellow students in need. And the idea we came up with, the cubby. It's a project where we will give basic need items to people in the middle school. You can go get essential things like pens, pencils, and different hygiene products, and you get it anonymously. I think it's going to be really important that these families get the stuff that they need, and this is a really cool way to let all of us help out. Each class took on a different role. One built the physical structure of the cubby, the second led a school-wide cubby collection that ultimately led to us receiving over 2,500 donations. And the third class began developing our app on how students would request items. I worked on making the app for the cubby. My experience has been coding and making forms for all the stuff and coming up with a list of like all the stuff that can be donated. I am working on the Raspberry Pi part, which the Raspberry Pi is just a small computer that we're using to program a lock and a keypad. I am part of the building process and it's been quite fun. Lots of prototypes. We have been using all renewable sources or reused sources. The wood that we've used is all for previous projects or donated. Our future plans include expanding to our local high school and community education building, where the cubby can not only be used to help students, but our entire town. I know that I'm doing something good for my community and I'm contributing to people that need it. It all helps with building empathy and understanding that everybody comes from a different place. It's up to all of us to help provide for one another. The ability for eighth graders to impact the world around them, the community that they live in. I can't wait to see how this grows every year.